It's been about 18 months since Channel 9 originally published this series of lessons on Visual Basic and the response in that time has been absolutely overwhelming so thank you very much for receiving these lessons so warmly. Uh, this series was originally recorded using Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. However, Microsoft has been pretty busy in the past 18 months and has released not only a new operating system but also uh, new editions of Visual Studio. So there are two questions that I still get asked quite often. First of all, are these lessons still relevant? Can I still learn Visual Basic with this series? And then secondly, which version of Visual Studio 2012 should I use to follow along in these lessons? Well, let me answer the first question uh, with absolutely. These videos are still relevant. There were no new features that were added to Visual Basic in the past 18 months or so that would prevent you from learning Visual Basic using these lessons. Uh, and I can only think of one significant new feature that was added uh, and at this point I would just say that it's an advanced feature that you can easily add to your body of knowledge after you finish watching this series. So I highly recommend that you move forward with this series. It's still one of the best ways to learn Visual Basic and .NET. Uh, to answer the second question, in October 2012 Microsoft introduced Visual Studio 2012 in several editions. Uh, the, the edition that you need to follow along with this series of lessons is, let's go here to Internet Explorer and go www.microsoft.com slash express, which will take us to the correct URL where you can download the latest versions of Visual Studio. And you can see that there are quite a few. We're looking at the Express 2012 products. You might be tempted to download this Express for Windows 8. However, that's strictly for building Windows Store apps. Uh, we have an entire series of lessons for C Sharp developers and JavaScript developers to build apps for uh, the Windows Store. Uh, and after you finish this series of lessons, you might want to watch that and decide do you want to try to learn um, C Sharp or JavaScript in order to build these new apps that can be sold in the Windows Store. Uh, but then there's this Express for Windows Desktop and that is what you need to follow along in this series, Express for Windows Desktop. Because it's the only one that will give you the tools to build console window applications like you'll do in the very next video. One last thing before you go, if you like this training and you want to learn more, then please consider visiting my own website, www.learnvisualstudio.net, for hands-on exercises uh, and even more topics to help propel your career forward. With the exciting new opportunities that are opening up on the Windows platform, I'm more convinced than ever that uh, Visual Basic and .NET are topics that you should be learning right now. So best of luck to you throughout this series. Let me know how I can help you out. If you have questions, by all means, please ask them in the questions area below each video. Thank you.